Hello and welcome to I'm Fat Because I Eat Food. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Hi. Ashley Miller. Hello. And Jason Amherst. <laughs> it's a glandular <laughs> problem. <laughs> uh, we've decided to take a break from the DS uh, games for, for now, and we've decided to tackle a completely different library. It's PlayStation 2! So we're not going to be yeah. able to play every single game in the library. There's a few things that we don't have peripherals for, like the iToy. And there is one game in the library that's straight up not legal to play <laughs> because it has underage uh, nudity in it. Would that, be, uh, would that be Thrill Kill? No, that would be the guy game. Thrill Kill was not released, so it will not be showing up on this roulette series, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, the guy game, yeah, I the already guy, saw the contextual. The guy game is actually not even legal to own. <laughs> Because Listen, I already saw the video about it that's, that Kadikaris did. That's yes. BMX Triple X. Mm. Fuck you, guy game. Which will Fuck be in you, this. Guy BMX Triple X will be in the in the roulette at some point. But the guy game, unfortunately, gonna... will not. Well, We're not going to be playing that. Uh, that version of the game on PS2 was censored. Yes. Yeah, Nintendo, Editor, got, put, Nintendo got the uncensored. Of, uh, yep. Editor, put put up the clip of uh, Mac McMuscles telling no. Guy Game to fuck off. No, don't don't do that because that that's just <laughs> random and it would probably put you know, up too much bandwidth. You know. Yeah. You know we have a running. There, there's a running joke now going on in this entire series where literally everything Dane has asked me to put in, I put in, but everything Ashley has asked me to put in, I don't put in. <laughs> You're a hmm. cunt. Hey. Hey, editor, put in a picture of a smiling sandwich on a toaster. Yeah. See, we'll see if he listens. Anyway. All right, so the first 18 games in the PS2 library are on the wheel. There are some there are some games I'm looking forward to, but there, there are, is some really pitiful looking games. Like, yeah, this is a it might be uh, Oh, this will be an interesting also. This will be an interesting series because there, so obviously I'm using I'm not using like the console console because I don't own a PS2, but the what I am using is uh, has comes with widescreen patches for a lot of the games. So a lot of the games will be in widescreen. So this will be the first roulette where uh, a lot of the games will be in uh, 16:9 rather than uh, the standard 4:3. Some of them do not have patches for that, so there will be games that uh, don't have that. But I have set up scenes for that in OBS, so it's it. It, we're covered either way. So let's get into this here little uh, thing. 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's spin it and see what we get. First see, game. The problem, is, the problem is for every time splitters, there's Madden NFL 2. What is Gun Griffal? Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. It's funny because a lot of the games I remember at launch aren't on the wheel right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm going by there there is a list of games by release date that I am going by, so like we'll see what happens. Division was a, uh, a, uh... Oh my lord. I forgot how loud that is. Sorry, I'm turning down the goddamn uh, Is this an RPG? Like a giant robot that thing? Uh, it might be. Uh, I'm not entirely fuck. sure. But at least I know I'm not alone in getting fucked. Oh. Um, oh, there's a plane. I wonder, is this one of those tech mech mecha games? I saw anime. Uh, yeah, there it is. I there's mean, a Gundam right there. I was going to say... <laughs> With a name like Gun it's Griffin Blaze, gun. yeah. With a name like Gun Griffin Blaze, was there really any doubt? Mm. Gun. It reminds me of the scene in the Austin Towers. It's Godzilla. But let's run like it is Godzilla. But Even it's not. not. <laughs> it's so funny that that was Hero from. Uh, uh, was that the character theme? Hero from Heroes. <laughs> 
Why are you asking us? You're the one who knows. Early 2000s no, I explosion didn't, I didn't, background. I didn't watch that show. I just know it was the Japanese guy who was originally a special effects artist. Who wound up this is the status press start button screen I've ever seen in my life. There's sad piano music playing and a burning I, mech. Can I just say that looks like a burning pile of doo doo? It does. I can make it's like a pilot. my life at the moment. I don't know what any of that means. Okay, make. Should I? I'll just Are play the game. Games Nick in pilot. this friggin' era had color because the entire generation after it. I swear, everything just looked like it was smeared in shit and Vaseline. I guess I'll go to Guam for training. <laughs> Wham. Of, all the, of all the places to go, you would just go to Guam. Just to Guam. Guam. Yeah. Guam. Hmm. This mission is um, strictly to allow you time to acclimate yourself to AWGS control mechanisms by means of target practice on target drones in a very controlled target environment. The target exercise begins here on the target northeast toward target it's, beach. It's pretty awesome. Target, 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 target. Hey. Oh, By the way, quicken. there's a quicken button. <laughs> <laughs> quicken. I just, I guess that means just make text move yeah. faster. You could have just wrote faster, game. <laughs> I don't know why you needed oh, to quicken. What about quicken loans? What about quicken, quicken loans? Quicken loans? Yeah, I know, right? That? Does that button do my taxes? I don't. <laughs> do my taxes. I've already done my taxes, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> this will air around tax time, time probably. Um. Where's the embiggener button? That's what I want to know. Where's the any key? I don't see any any key. I could go for uh, some cab right now. I don't... Okay, no no do... time for soda. Time for work. Yeah. This looks familiar. I think... I think this might have been available on one of, like, the PlayStation Magazine demos. I would say editor put up a picture of it, but apparently I have no power here, so... Fuck me. I mean, it probably was on a demo disc. Oh, I oh. learned of Dynasty. Oh, weird. I'm I'm this? moving with the right stick and then I'm turning with the left stick. And that's a little. That's that is opposite kind of, of what I'm used to. Yeah. It's just it looks awfully familiar. Like I've played it before. I just don't know. Did I like it's just set like up my controller wrong? Is that why it is? Augs unit. You skeeched no, it. No, that's the right. Skeet. It's the right sticks. I've got the right sticks. This is just gonna be a. Oh, well, this is gonna take some time to get used to. Always. Wait a second, Skeech, Isn't that the nerdy guy on Saved by the Bell that died? Dustin Diamond. That was no. Screech. Skeech. Skeech, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm just seeing hit, hit, miss, 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 hit, and I'm like. Me. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my god. god, I keep wanting to move with the left stick because that's what I'm used to. Hmm. This game has it backwards. I checked my well, bindings, remember, they're right. My bindings are completely correct. Shooters back in the day were still kind of a new thing on Twins. This is this is true. Um again, I could have sworn like I'll get Unreal used to it. it was like a freaking Unreal like Tournament is a first person shooter, yeah. Yeah, but I think it was a long time. You gotta long. duck and weave, ho. Duck and weave. The PS2 came out in October of 2000, and this game also came out in October of 2000. Duck and weave, ho. Duck and weave. That's what you gotta do. Even robots need to duck and weave, too. Geached. Geached. Oh! Right, I'm slowly getting used to the weird controls. You think that's weird? You should try playing Ace of Seafood or Fight Crab. My God. Fight Crab? Fight I, Crab. I will pass. It is a good game. Crab it is all. stupid. And it controls like ass, but it is a fun game. Is it? Do, does it have anything to do with crab battles? You can climb well, the I mean, fucking. Right, you can fine. be a crab with a knife. Yes. You can also be a crab with a lightsaber. But you also <gasps> have the lightsabers. But crab battles, Jace. I, I destroyed a building. Or am I? Maybe Can you? Else. The, the, the title is funnier in Japanese. Cause it's like Kani no Kinka. No. Which Kani is, no which Kinka? Means, which literally just means. Oh, God. The fight of crabs. <laughs> Kani no Kinka. 
Canine no king. Canine no king ka. If you want another acid trip of the game, like Ace of Seafood is a game in which it's kind of like Star Fox, but you're fish and the more you like destroy things you get like food points that help you like evolve and become other fish and stuff it is weird like picture man eater meets star fox but with none of the like funny plot thingies because it's in japanese but with a bitchin soundtrack so what is japanese for duo barrel <laughs> duo barrel loo roll loo <laughs> 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 I'm just thinking of freaking Satoru Iwata now. Rest his soul. Do a baller. Yeah. Do a baller. Do a baller. Roll. Do a baller lower. No. That's, oh. that, that was tough. It was, it was just funny seeing like freaking Shigeru Miyamoto and Satoru Iwata turn into Muppets. <laughs> and then they turned into Star Fox. All right. So, hey, Fox, do a barrel. Yeah, Fox, do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Well, I do remember Satori Iwata was bilingual, so he spoke English yeah. rather fluently. His, his and English was pretty damn good compared to me. Please to Miyamoto. understand. Holds a banana. I loved how I love at, game, at a game conference, he was like, if you look at my business card, it says on there, I am a gamer. Please understand. The quote was, on my business card, I am a president. In my mind... I am a programmer. In my heart, I am a gamer. Who shouldn't me? Yes, yes, yes. That that was it. I just couldn't think of it because I'm so you, fucking. Are you shooting me? Just fuck you, you stupid tank. Um, <laughs> I've I've mentioned every so often. The combat vehicle. I did. You blitzed it. I blitzed it. I've met. You got it high. Yep. I've mentioned every so often how some of my theater kitties have been doing some very big projects lately. Uh, I got two more. You got some two big more. stuff going on. Right. Big stuff. Big stuff. Um, one of my newer Lieblings, his name is Race. He was just on Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Jelly. I freaking applied for Wheel of How Fortune you, like did, well over 10 times. It just times aired, you mean? Or was he just like, did he just tape an he episode? He just it aired a couple of days ago. How'd he do? He tried. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. That's all you can he, ask. The wheel. <laughs> all systems he, broken. <laughs> and, Touch um, me. I'm all broken. One of my, one of my very old. Pilot um, default. <laughs> Lieblings. Her name is Kaylin Hedges. She did one of my shows. She got on American Idol and she got the golden ticket to go in. Ooh. Wow. So what did she yeah. uh, what did she sing? I wow, this is embarrassing. I actually don't know, but the what actually what's funny is the guy who wrote the song. Mm-hmm. Um, he messaged her on Instagram and he wrote a video saying like, I just want to thank Kaylin Hedges for singing my song and blah, blah, blah. Something, some guy with a last name McDonald. I'm not really sure. Michael McDonald? <laughs> it wasn't Michael McDonald. Oh, sweet freedom, shine over me. Whoa, okay, I just figured out the jump button. Pardon me while or I Or actually, it's a, more like uh, the fly button. Uh, a Billy and, uh... It's the and, jump and shoot Gundam. Jump and shoot. And now... And now for my performance art of the day. Here is Michael McDonald having sex. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, not this guy! Oh, no, no. Oh, don't hold this guy again. Where? People are shooting at me, but I don't know where from. What? No. What? Huh? Huh? What? Oh. No. Absolutely not. Oh, oh. uh-oh. <laughs> Chase left. Perhaps we shouldn't have, uh... 
It might be something they pulled. I don't know. Oh, never mind. He's back. I was, I was getting yelled at. Not uh, in a bad way, like Jason. Oh, no. Did you put the trash in the dryer and take out the dishes? No, I. Uh, okay. I, I moved the uh, coffee table because the cat was trying to eat something off of the ground. Oh, okay. And I couldn't tell what was there. You know, I don't know if he just smelled the from something, but it's <laughs> disgusting. Jason, Jason, did you? <laughs> Did you put the cat in the microwave again? <laughs> oh no! Here you insinuate that sort of thing. I love my cat. <laughs> see, see, see. The wonderful thing is, th there's things called jokes. I know you wouldn't actually put your cat in the microwave, sir. How dare you joke around about my pussy? Hey -o. I think you have a very nice boost. Very nice boost. He is very fluffy and cute. Hmm. Have you ever shaved your boost? I could make another joke about that. I'm just not going to because it sounds absolutely horrible. Hey, hey. It's okay. What does that stop us before? Well, I mean. Oh, that's a friend. Before, I can't shoot that. Before Frodo was my cat. Is this friend? He belonged to my this great aunt, who did have him groomed several times, because he is a very big fluff ball. Oh, and I see. So, yeah, he, he was shaved a few times, and boy, is that awkward looking. I guess. Seeing a freaking big fluff ball cat shaved, you know, with just a little bit of, like, small tufts around, like, the paws and stuff like that. Yeah, Dubby you know, Dubby. Now, that I, now that I think about it, that, that is a long period. Well, the, the install's like, coming and they, they don't stop. Their body, technically. We just can't Friend? tell that they're whiskers. Friend? Enemy! <laughs> Friend? Enemy? Friend? 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 Enemy! Friend? Enemy! <laughs> what? Well, right. Friend? Enemy? Friend? Enemy? What? <laughs> Francis? Who? Enema? Jason! Friend Jason! Jason! Friend of oh, me! Promises! Promises! Mm -hmm. Enemy, friend of me, who are you? 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 I thought you were going to say we are all Big Fat Polly. Yeah, we are all Big Fat Polly. You're not wrong. I'm Louie Anderson. <laughs> I'm Louie Anderson. Get back here. Get back here and die. Get back here, you cook. Out, Out of range. range. No. No. Do not engage. I, I don't care. There. You. Killed him. Don't care. It's my purse. I don't know you. That's my purse. Meanwhile, I just keep on seeing Miss on the screen. Man, man, man. <laughs> I feel like every time I see that now, I should just tap the button. Destroy, Please do. Destroy, destroy. Yeah, I destroyed a couple Please things. Please do. I, uh, At least you have the power to do something. Run, I can't do run. shit. Da do run, 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 da do run, run. Oh, God, that, that, that brings back memories. That was oh, an right. improv game. The do Ron 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 is a is a song. Yeah. It is, yeah, it, it they is would also, also use it. Yeah. Ha ha. Fuck. What's that? What's that? Make fun of Ashley and torture her this entire show? Well, okay, I guess I can do that. Duck, take it out. What's that? What's that? What's You're dead duck? to me? I took oh. out. I took out an entire fucking space shuttle. Okay. You you just sent NASA back twenty seven thousand years. That was actually it was supposed. To, that's what I was supposed to do was take out that shuttle. By the way, I don't know if you saw the uh, actual like mission objective, but that was the whole point. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. Okay. This looks like an N sixty four game. I mean, it was two thousand. 
N64 yeah, was still a thing in 2000. This is this is like 2000 had those graphics. Funny enough, it's actually not bad. <laughs> I'm 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 quite enjoying it actually. Unfortunately, we do have to uh, end this this part of the segment. So, um, thoughts on Gun Griffin Blaze, Dane? Um, it it's all right. I'm, to be honest, I really wasn't paying my, that much attention before what I was seeing. It was it was a pretty good um, early era PS2 game. Ashley, I think I've played this game before. And it's not bad. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad for for PS2 graphics. And I mean, if you're a fan of like Gundam, you would like it. And Jason, looks perfectly serviceable. Yeah. Um, <coughs> weird first person shooter controls aside, where the sticks are flipped for some reason. Um, it it takes a little getting used to, but once you do get used to it. I actually was having a pretty good time with it. Scores out of 10, Dane. Eight. Uh, Ashley. I'm going to give it a seven. Jason. I'd give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven. That was pretty good. That's good. It's kind of funny. Like, I'm trying to find, like, lists of PlayStation games. And, uh... Oh, this one's weird. Drum Mania, March 4th, 2000. Eternal Ring. Yep, that was the first one ever released for the PS2. Yeah. Was Drum you Mania. Shogi 4. Uh, yeah, but Essen, see, here's Essen. the thing is that the, ga- the PS2 came out in early 2000 in Japan. Yeah, I'm looking at this. March 9th, 2000. I'm going by North American Release Library. <laughs> Because, sure Fantavision because, was a launch because I was in because I'm in North America. If it's if it was a I'm PS2 sorry, game, Jay. if it was a PS2 game, I, it will I will get to it eventually. Well, Jay, it looks like us. Again. Looks like the Swebanese and Nar or uh, Naruto hey. aren't going to be able to. Wait, wait, wait. I've actually oh, played Unreal this game. Tournament. That's familiar. I've, I actually oh, yeah. have. See, Unreal Tournament. I've actually played this game and I like it, so this will okay, be fun. So PlayStation Two came out twenty sixth of October two thousand, and Fate Division came out twenty sixth of October two thousand. So it was a launch title in North America. Well, I don't know why it's not on the. It wasn't on the list that I saw. So was it on your list? <laughs> Who wrote your list, Jericho? I don't know. Jericho not like the game. Unreal tournament. Hold on a second. I'm seeing if there's any uh, widescreen patches for this. Doesn't look like, so it looks like we're going to the standard definition. All right. You could actually play this with a keyboard and mouse. You could, yeah, if you had the PS2 keyboard and mouse. Uh... Well, I mean, it said Logitech, so I assume any Logitech why would I reduce? Mouse. Why would I reduce score? Because you just... Yeah. Gotta love this, like, circa Windows 98 uh, title screen. How about just start game? There we go. Good lord. <laughs> Alright. Fine by me. Gregor? <laughs> Not Brock or Luther, or or was it Luger? Yes, your your attack weapon is Lex Luger. It's it's a gun that, that likes to flex and has a mullet. And killed Elizabeth. Yeah. Allegedly. Yes. Allegedly. Allegedly. Mm, killed, possibly, but provided the drugs for her to overdose. Yeah, that's, Wait, that's, that's, that makes more sense. He he provided her the droogs. The droogs? He provided her the Alex dro- the largest friends? Hi, 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 my little droogies. <laughs> and kick. Well, 
she probably would have done a lot better to drink a thing of milk instead of, you know, oh, whatever the fuck drug she had on her. As mm -hmm. Andy Dick is to uh, Phil Hartman's wife. It's true. Uh, uh, but the difference is, is that uh, Miss Elizabeth didn't kill Hulk Hogan in a drug-filled rage. There's what I want. But yeah, you're right. You're right. That Can still hurts. Really that that Hogan? Ah, there we go. I mean, there, there was a fake Ultimate Warrior at one point, supposedly. All right, perfect. Well, if Ultimate Warrior comes back, we'll know it's the fake one because the real one's dead. The uh, we we'll just call the fake the next Saudi show. We just call the fake ultimate warrior a renegade. Yeah. I I did all of the drugs and put it in my nostrils. All right. I'll move on to the. I I don't need a tutorial level now. That I, I was just trying to get my controller configured correctly. All I can think about with Ultimate Warrior is uh, Tim Allen's entire character of Tim the Toolman Taylor is just, what if the Ultimate Warrior were Bob Vila? What if the Ultimate Warrior was a would-be Dilf who just was ultimately bad at doing construction? I want and, you. And home and I'm going to help you build this birdhouse. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> That, that was a missed opportunity to have him on that show. More power to the drill. <sighs> Remember, Tim Allen, queering doesn't make the world work. This guy legitimately... But apparently like, cocaine does. In a, this guy in a, legitimately in a, looks like mm. freaking a stylized version of uh, freaking uh, Tom Cruise. I'm so yep. fucking mad. I'm in love with Katie Hoobs. I'm in love with Katie Hoobs. I'm okay. Go see my new Hoobs. Fuck, oh, fuck your couch. Fuck your couch. Buy another one, you rich motherfucker. Fuck your couch. Or no, if it was Tom Cruise and it was my Tom Cruise impression, it'd be like, no, no, no. Fuck your couch. Dude, fuck your couch, Oprah. I'm in love. Fuck your couch. You could buy another one. You're rich. You could buy a whole country. By the way, donate to Scientology. Boom. Ash Ashley, you were trying too hard to be funny. That that's my new number one. Seriously, like nail some headshots, so I have Whoop. an excuse to go. I need to uh how do I switch weapons? Oh, that's it. Okay, good. Alright, figured it out. I do not want to blow myself up. I do yeah, want the flat cannon. The flat cannon is a damn good weapon. I was going to say, blowing yourself up would be the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Get fucked, Blake. <laughs> Blake. Shut up, what? Blake. <laughs> you want to go to War Block? I got rockets. Yeah, I, I have played this game. I used to own this game, actually, uh, when I had a PS2. Uh, and I played the shit yeah, out of it, so I love me some Unreal Tournament. Oh, get out of here. Three on Steam still. Ha. Take that, Blake. Blake. You, you fuck bag. Blake. My name is Blake. I'm Blake, 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 Blake. <laughs> <coughs> well, Dicky Cruz there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ashley, don't be, don't do the pouty silence now. I was just joking, because I know that's exactly what you're doing. I have nothing to say. I'm just watching the game. <laughs> and Ashley, shut up! Just stop. Okay, anyway. you told her. You told her to stop being silent, and then you just told her to shut up. What do you, What do you want? <laughs> I want. I want a solid gold point. Oh, okay. so, uh, of Of what? Of 
That's how it goes. No, I oh, mean, what do you I want the portrait to be of? Toilet. What What portrait? What are you talking about? Oh, toilet. I'm sorry. I thought you said solid gold portrait. Solid gold torture. Yes. So, uh, I, I normally like watching slap fighting, but lately I've been watching robot fighting and uh, getting a good laugh out of some of the creations. Uh, there was I was watching um, some video where it was like two medieval two guys dressed in like medieval knight armor, but it was like an MMA fight with swords and they were but then they just started like meeting each other. Yeah, that was that was like a Russian thing. They should, oh well, they should course. slow down then. Because <laughs> well, the course. thing is, is that they also created slap fighting too. Yes, because in our country, there was nothing better than slapping someone across the face. What's the, it's oh. 15 is the frag limit, okay. <laughs> so, so while Justin Roiland is cancelled everywhere, Dan Harmon is renewed everywhere, even before his show comes out. Well, at least he's not nude everywhere, that'd be weird. You know, I was reading about that, that whatever this new he's show renewed is. Before, renewed for a third season before season one even aired. How does that work? Television. Uh, Disney. And and the funny thing is that they're trying to say like, oh, it's going to be the next Simpsons and the Family it Guy. It doesn't be... look like it at all. It looks like something that basically is like nerfed down from Adult Swim. Like you know, oh yeah, that's not that's not uh, childish enough for Adult Swim. Um, yeah, we're gonna pass. Let's put it on Fox. Uh, yeah. You see, on Adult Swim, we like shows that are on drugs that make no sense, you know? So the Schmorpy does the... Bur <laughs> the Schmorpy does the... Bur yeah, yeah, the, you you were cut off <laughs> quite hilariously by the... Uh... <laughs> by by, uh, by but, Discord. Yeah. I, the Schmorpy I, does the... Bur <laughs> it's like, okay... <laughs> Literally, like that's that's how ninety percent of like Justin Roiland's uh, recording sessions are is just him fucking drunk, going like the Schmorby does the blurple flurp, yeah, purple with that dirtle. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to write. The sky's the limit when you don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, if you if you if the rumors are true, he just stopped showing up to like the writing sessions. Just Rick put the, and Morty, just just put the word blurple and schloople in there somewhere, and I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so, basically the uh, everything seems to be funny with like LP type noises, you know, or like mm -hmm. using F's with things, you know, like like you know, flurm, you know, like oh flurm sounds funny. <laughs> flurm. flurm. You know, or or uh you know, I I would like uh I, I would like a uh Oh god, what, what was one of the ones that I I freaking I heard the other day and I'm like S somebody, somebody just kind of like stumbled on a word, and it sounded really funny. And I'm like, "Oh no, this is the kind of crap that Justin Roiland probably did because he was drunk." Gazorpazorp field. No. Oh, oh, spoon, spoon. I would like a spoon to have that with, please. An f spoon. A spoon. What the hell? Uh, like, like I said. Consonants that don't go together, being mashed together, shit, you know, shit. to make weird words. I had no, I had no ammo. I was down to my hammer. Hammer. I got thigh pads though. <laughs> thigh pads. Yeah, I got thigh pads. That's gonna do if somebody shoots you in the head. Yeah, right. <laughs> at least my thigh <laughs> pads. At least I was wearing my thigh pads when I was shot in the face. Ashley, 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 Ashley. Ashley. Yes. Hi. Uh, Hello. Wow. Double kill. Ashley, I was just kidding, so stop doing your boo-boo face that you do when you're mad. Just stop. I'm just trying to watch the show. I... Don't oh, really have much to contribute. Bullshit. 
really hard to find a list of PS2 games in order of release. Yeah, that's I had a lot of difficulty in that too. So I was like, as soon as I found, then the again, list, it I was did like, have one of the biggest like release catalogs of all time. Like, yeah, that and the PS1. I was just like, here's a list that has them in chronological order. I'll just use it. Yeah, I was gonna say, how uh, is it in this first like roulette wheel? Then that list is incomplete. What's how that? far into it? Got it the day it came out, and I was like, "Ooh, what's this?" And then we played it, and it's like, it it looks pretty. It's it's a puzzle game with fireworks. Oh, how fantasy. far into um, how far into the PS3 until PS2 finally just ceased. A game. while, um, a long last, time. PS2 yeah, had a 12-year shelf life. Pro Evolution Soccer 2014 was the last PlayStation 2 yeah. game ever made. PS2 had uh-huh. a 12-year shelf you, life. Thank you, Konami! <laughs> You're welcome. I guess. Um, and then, uh, what, was the, what was the last Wii game? I'm pretty sure it was a Just Dance game. Probably. Uh, da da do hey, at some point at some point I'll see tech and tag on that wheel. Is that a is that a two on two yep. game? Just Dance twenty twenty was the very last Wii game to ever be made. Ashley, what is Tech and Tag? Tech and Tag Tournament was it was basically just like a regular tech in game except it you worked on like a tag characters. team system. Yeah. And um, it had characters from Tekken's one, two, and three and introduced a new character named Unknown, which some people the... speculate is uh June Kazuma. Demon it was possessed. The fourth Tekken ever made, mm-hmm. and it was a launch title in America. It's I mean it's a good game. It's a good game. It's not canon to the series, but uh it... I mean, the fact that they came out with a Tekken Tag 2, like, so many years later, Boom. it's like, well, Tekken's still going on to this day, so, yeah. I'd say, yeah. I'd, you can definitely tell I've put some time into Unreal Tournament. <laughs> okay, final and definitive list of all games released on or before in North America. 29 games were released uh, in time for the debut in the United States. All of these titles are available now, made it onto shelves. So there was 29 uh, launch titles for the PS2 is what you're saying? Yep. Okay, so Core we're not two, even halfway. Th- too hardcore. As I said, we're not Dynasty even halfway. Two. We're not even halfway through the launch titles then. Yeah, ESPN, International Track and Field. Oh, no. I'm getting I'm getting. PTSD That's on the list. Back to when you did That's Game on the Boy wheel. Advance. ESPN Track and Field uh, is ESPN on the wheel. ESPN X Games Snowboarding. That's also on the wheel, I believe. Thanks, Konami. Oh. Uh, Eternal Ring. That's Everbrace, on the wheel. That's on the wheel. Division. That's that's not on the wheel, but probably will be. <laughs> uh, that that was the first party game. Uh, yeah. Fanta Vision. Uh, yep. Gun Griffin Blaze. That'll, which we played. that'll probably be on the wheel soon. Kessen is a Koi Tecmo. Well, actually, just Tecmo. Or not Tecmo. Koi game. Released by EA. In America, weirdly. All I know is that one of the Kesson games, I can't remember which one was, it was apparently so bad that um, (laughs) Electronics Boutique, which is an old video game store that was in Staten Island (laughs) Mall. Uh, It's sad that you have to explain that, by the way. (laughs) Rest in peace. Um, They, it was in their discount bin for like a penny. Jesus. And still nobody was buying it. Well, I picked it up, and the guy was like, "Just, just take it. Just please take it. Just get. We want to get I mean, rid of this fucking." Kessen was literally just a real-time strategy, or maybe just a turn-based strategy. I don't know. Turn-based uh, game based off, yeah, based off of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, or not Romance. Multi kill. Uh, Damn it! I didn't. No, but I'm ambitious. Multi kill. Wait, no, no, it was Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I think Kessen was Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Boom. Either way, it was based off of their. Uh, Oregon Trail style strategy games. Wasn't um, I thought Dynasty Warriors was also Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Uh, Dynasty Warriors is I Romance picked up the, the Ripper as well. Yep. Uh, Originally started off as a fighting game for the first game, and then the second game it turned into yep. like an action adventure fighter. Yep. It and it's still going uh, on to this day. What's the? Yep. That's Some games 20. are better than others. 
as soon as, uh, I, f as, soon as I finish this death match, I will six and nine, move on. Because both of them are ass. Give me back. Uh, Dynasty me Warriors first. 2 had the best soundtrack. Dynasty Warriors 3 had the best character selection. Mm, I'd say, like, I'd say when like you... 5 and 8 are like the definitive games. You know, 5 being the last PS2 and 8 just being the last good one considering 9 was ass and apparently they're working on 10 but I still need to see uh, the Dynasty Warriors movie on Netflix. I keep forgetting about that. Is it a movie no, or is it a series? They made a movie. Okay. Yeah, I noticed I, I noticed it. I just didn't know if it's it was a, a series. Adaptation. I mean, I I seen some of the characters. I'm like, oh, I recognize that guy. Up, oh, I recognize Lu Bu. <laughs> Do not. I recognize. Lu Bu. <laughs> I like. I I remember Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun was like one of the yeah, one of the OG boy. way. Yeah. Yeah, the poster boy from uh, Shu. Yeah. Although, although my uh, my my main guy my was sadly a guy who didn't survive very long. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, the big uh, bald bull. Yeah, I guy with big axe ends up liked, getting killed uh, helping Cao Cao escape. I always liked uh, Zhou Yu. Who's uh, shooting at me? The, uh, Fuck you. The Bishonen looking dude with the uh, the long hair and. Uh, Back then he had the really cool sword. Then they turned it into a staff, which I was okay with that too, I guess. Because I actually was that, the one that is was that the one that kinda looked like a samurai that was a part of the, the Shu dynasty? No, no. The samurai guy was uh oh Zhotai. Zhotai. Oh. He he was the guy in uh in uh Wu that like he had the gigantic Whoa. long ass sword. Whoa. I'm just I'm just picturing Ric Flair dressed up as like Cal Lou like whoop We're starting <laughs> The Wu <Bro> Dynasty. <laughs> Woo <laughs> This is uh... a <laughs> He's uh, the, he's he's older than Rory could have been in the... uh, don't do not forget D Way. There, there is Woo there is Wei and Shu. D Way and Shu. <laughs> yep. Wu Wei Shu, and then there was uh, Dong Dong Zhuo, who yeah, was uh, uh, his. Dong, where is my, where is my automobile? <laughs> Hello, this is Dong, Dong Zhuo, aka Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> anyway, and then yeah, yeah, he was he was Asian Jabba the Hutt, and Thoughts... he had he had a uh, Lu Bu. Thoughts on Unreal Tournament, Dane. I mean, you played this game before, and it looked fine when you played it then, and it looks fine now. Very serviceable. Ashley? <clears throat> um, I mean, I've never played it, but it has such a cultural impact in gaming. Of I've seen porn stars talk yeah, about they, it back in the day. They I've seen a store now. It's yeah. Porn there's a whole there's a whole sucks. game engine based on it. Yeah, I mean, how how could you not like how how could you just see do, this as a throwaway when it's I do at one point when I play Unreal, like the very first game, the the the, the one the first person shooter that came out in like uh, the ninety seven style one. Yeah. yeah the yeah. one that was actually it's a real is it, they promoted it as a Quake killer and it could have actually been had, you know, not released at the same time as some of the uh, some other like prominent first person shooters. But uh, um yeah. yeah. Uh thoughts on Unreal Tournament, Jason? You know, it's it's <laughs> I guess you could say kind of sort of classic E. I mean, you know, it it, it did set a bar uh, as far as, I what guess, you know, the origin of uh, eSports. You know, this, if I'm not mistaken, well, no, the, the Ethernet adapter wasn't out yet for the system. Uh, but, I mean, like, on PCs at least, like, this game was huge for, like, LAN yep. parties and stuff like that. So, I mean, uh, you know, it is it is arguably a legendary title, so to speak. All right, uh, and yeah, I, I've put a lot of time into this game. I, I when I owned it on PS2 uh, back in the day, I absolutely enjoyed this game. Uh, <clears throat> scores out of ten, Dane. Eight. Ashley. I'm, I'm gonna give it a seven. Jason. 
I'm gonna give it eight. Uh, I'm ten. giving. I'm actually giving it a ten. I am that fond of it. Let's move right along into the uh, into the it's final totally game of this show of this particular Other episode. launch titles. Uh, Midnight Club, uh, MotoGP, uh, NHL 2001. E That's on the e wheel. E E E E E E. Oh boy. Uh, Orphan, which I think recently got a new anime. Uh, Cue Ball Billiards Master. Yeah, which, which we just we now. yeah, which we just landed <laughs> on. Good timing. <laughs> uh, ready to Rumble Boxing Round Two. That's on the wheel. Wee. Silent scope. Silent. That's on the. Si that's on the wheel. Silent scope. That's on the wheel. <laughs> uh, SSX. Uh, not on the wheel, but probably will be soon. X tree to rock. Pardon me. Oh wait, never mind. That was SSX you. Tree. Wow. Of all the. Hey, we want to show off the power of the PS2. Let's let's do a billiards game. Right. Hey, to be fair. Some billiards games are awesome, like Lunar Pool. I was going to say, Lunar Pool is an extremely underrated NES game. Yeah. This is probably just pool. <laughs> this is kind of like how like every video game system out there has to have at least one Shogi and Mahjong game. Mm -hmm. Hey, or... FMVs! Right? Or... If it's a later era system, at least one pachinko game. Oh, a lot of like NES games. A lot of the, there was a lot of pachinko on those too. Wow, look at that real life FNV. Yeah. Who, who are these people? Uh, I don't know. Probably like a developer and some people that they hired. And the rest is this. <laughs> um. Huh. Swing Away, which was released by E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E yeah, I know. It was it was uh, the ex devs from Rare who made that. It was e basically a spiritual successor to Goldeneye and Perfect Dark. E e e e e. e, e, e. Uh, we're turning into like chimpanzees. E e e e games challenged mentally. What? Hey, uh, excuse me. <laughs> are you at? Are you I mean, at? To be fair, if you buy an EA game nowadays, you might be. I mean, that's, mm. that's... Think about it. That is that is who they're targeting with their gotcha systems and shit for Madden and, uh, you know, FIFA and shit. You know, they want the neurodivergents who are whales, you know, or for that matter, just don't realize the difference in exchange rate between fantasy currency and real life currency. You know... Get your favorite player. Look, we got it here on the we we got it here dangling from a hook. You know, so see see we got Messi. So uh, is is he relevant? Pele, Pele. You want Pele? Who who's a good boy? Who wants Pele? Who wants um, Pele? Um, you better pay that, up for Pele. That sound that you're hearing right now is a thousand neckbeards furiously typing. You. <laughs> You backseat gamer, I want Jason Ambrose to be cancelled from this show. He was making fun of us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go have sex with my body waifu pillow. Here, I I'd be the response department. I don't department. have a waifu pillow yet, but I want one. <laughs> oh, no. I Here, here's, here's, the, here's, here's the response department. Dear Mr. 694 or 20 no scope uh, while i do appreciate you reaching us to, out to us unfortunately we will not be able to comply with your request thank you peace Hi. there we go nice in thanks oh pocketing object balls yeah go ahead pocket those balls 
I'm trying. Mm. I'm doing my best. Oh, a little pocket pool there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and the re and the rest is this. Uh, We're gonna hit some balls on a table. I I have hit my ball. I was say I've hit my balls on the table before. It's not fun. <laughs> my wiener don't the work table. like it used to. My wiener don't table. work like it used to. I ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. <laughs> I, I'm the table. Oh, shit. Table. Oh, yeah. Oh, um. Just remember, yeah, here, the Japanese table always goes into business for itself. So, you know, here's, here's the um, the problem <laughs> with the problem with doing roulettes for PS2 titles now is we can't necessarily say, oh, the graphics are fucking horrible like we do with the DS stuff. Or, because, even, like, or even N64. Yeah. Because, like, Okay, this looked. is objective. Yeah, hang on a second. This is objectively boring. We all recognize that, but, mm -hmm. it, but it doesn't, look, doesn't look like it doesn't look bad visually the because it's the best pool games of all time. It's a bar. Are, you you got you got two different games: Lunar Pool and the pool mini game in Monkey Ball. Yeah, that's true. An, an uh, actual fucking pool table. It's just like golf. The best golf game of all time. Aside from maybe the original Mario Golf. Is actually Kirby's Dream Course. And of course. This is true. Of course, as we all know. The the greatest golfer of all time is Dorf. This is also true. Dorf? Dorf on yeah. Golf. You don't remember Dorf on Golf? Hey, somebody put up the VHS cover of Dor Dorf Does Golf. I was golf. just getting ready to say, yeah. Future Mike, put up the, the VHS cover. <laughs> For those of you who are not aware, um, it's Tim Conway. What's a Tim as, Conway? Uh, about 150 about, pounds. About 10, about 10 pounds, yeah. Tim Conway was Dorf, and uh, yeah. Great. Oops. It's okay, Jace. It's old timey movies with old timey comic actors. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean I know who Tim Conway is. I just I'm unfamiliar was a... with that. It's been forever since I've Wow, that I don't know what the fuck just happened there. It bounced but... off the corners of the of the table, like the right? Had a seizure, it like, it near bounced the off the corners next to the hole but didn't go in the hole. It, was, it, was... it looked like the ball had a seizure in the pocket. That's what did. that's what happens when you hit your ball too hard. That's what happens when you hit your balls on the table. Actually, it's even yeah. because like that looks like such a serious gauge. Like you're trying to do like some engineering or some shit when you're like adjusting for like the strength of uh how hard you're gonna smack that ball. Yeah. Like I'm Just gonna hit that strength. ball at like, you know, uh uh, seventeen point two nine psi. If you have to do physics just to figure out how to hit a ball, it's not a fun game. I mean, you kind of have to do some trigonometry. It's <laughs> more. I think it's more and, geometry. Yeah, I was gonna say, like you know, you gotta be you gotta be decent with angles. Yeah, you're being super fancy about it. You know, and you're really good at like hitting it at a very specific point. Like you could put some, put some spin on it, dagger. Uh, or as they call it in pool, putting English on it. Yeah. You know, top spin, back spin, backspace, backseat. Flip her over. Backseat gamer. Flip her over. Skin that flick. She's just a little DJ. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I get it. It's a Red Hot Chili Peppers reference for the song, by the way. Yeah, because there's that point where he's just oh, saying scratched. words and they don't make much sense. Con job, boot cut, skin flint, beat job. You know, I mean, I, listen to plug. the lyrics. 
Listen to the lyrics for fucking Californication. Half that song don't make no goddamn sense. Hey, li- listen. I-, I believe a wise man once said, steak knife, <laughs> card shark, con job, boot cut. Yeah. I think his name was Confucius. That's true. <laughs> Anthony Confucius Ketis. <laughs> yeah. You know... <laughs> Makes me wonder if they were just like throwing. No, it makes me wonder. It makes me wonder was a song by Maroon Five. Yeah, it makes me wonder if uh, they were just throwing shit darts at a board <laughs> of words. I said shit right when you said throwing. <laughs> I mean for that. I didn't mean for that to come out that way, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. They were throwing shit. Shit. Actually, if you really, if you really look at the lyrics to "By the Way," it's basically just. Yeah, I said I would come to your show tonight, but I didn't show up. Like, wow, you're Anthony Kiedis, you're a fucking asshole. Is that part Peter. of like a trilogy of songs about the character of Danny California? Or did he just yeah. retroactively say that was a thing? I think he just retroactively said that. California, California Ah bitch. California, Fuck California, you, you California, stupid ball. California. Kind of like how every Pitbull song is something, something Spanish, Miami. Something, yeah. something Spanish, Miami. <laughs> the, don't I, forget the, don't. That used to be a Will, uh, that used to be every Will Smith song, too. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, slap. <laughs> keep my, keep my <laughs> wife's name <laughs> out your fucking mouth. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, my wife cucked me. Truth. Hey. Chris Rock's over there going, maybe I could, you know, fuck so, Yeah, apparently it was supposedly a trilogy because Californication first <laughs> mentions Danny in 1999. Then By the Way came out in 2002 with Danny the Girl is singing songs to me beneath the marquee. And then finally the song Danny California in 2006, oh. which is the end of the story. Thoughts on Cube Bar Billiard Bar Ball Master? Dane. Q, Q bar ballmaster. <laughs> so supervisor Yoshikazu Kimura. It, no um, it's pretty pretty stinky. Very uh very boring. It's very bally. <laughs> very ballsy. I was gonna say, is that giant Baba in a freaking suit? <laughs> What's Antonio Wanoki doing here? Uh, Why is he plunging that hole with the uh, pool cue? Ashley. <laughs> Took a, he took a shit in the pool table accidentally. Oh, I thought this was a toy rinse. <laughs> uh, Longest oh, and smallest plunger ever. Uh, Ashley, thoughts Ooh. on the game. What the fuck, girl? Hey, I would rather just play real pool. Like, uh, I've, yeah. I've played... Um, okay. Yeah. There's the rub. Jason? Yeah. Um, bring me to a bar anywhere and I'll a bar. play pool. No, but this <laughs> bar. Q bar. Um, Q bar, Q bar <laughs> in the uh, in the corner, Palkit. Palkit, Palkit. Yeah, it's, it's it's fine to play. It's it's a pool game. What do you want me to say? Scores out of ten, Dane. It's innocuous. Two. Ashley. Zero. Jason. Scratch. I mean uh, Mulligan. Mulligan. I mean, uh, four. I'm gonna give it a three. <laughs> So, uh, on this edition of the show, we played uh, Gun Griffin Blaze, Unreal Tournament, and Q-Roll, Billiards Master. Best game of the episode, Dane. I would say Unreal. Ashley. Diet Dr. Gundam. Uh, the J- first one. Uh, Gun Griffin Blaze. Gun Jason. Griffin Blaze. Jason. Oh, God. That's a tough one. Uh, oh, God. It really is a tie between, like, Gun Griffin, because, like, there's a part of me that wants to see more of this weird Japanese mech game, but Unreal Tournament is also just a really good PS2 launch title. Um, I feel like I get a little bit more, though, out of Gun Griffin. Like, it seems like it has more of a story than Unreal Tournament. And uh, I'm going to pick Unreal Tournament. So that's uh, for the very first time ever. We have a split on uh, on Retro Roulette as to best game of the episode. So 
For Dane Fort June, Ashley Miller, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified about upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good night, everybody.